I really believe untreated trauma and childhood adversity is the biggest epidemic affecting our community because it leads to basically all of the negative outcomes that people experience later in life. We know that this is something that's impacting upwards of two thirds of families on some level. As a community, we have a vested interest to solve this problem because it's impacting us in terms of our spending on health care, it's impacting us in terms of who's able to be in the workforce as adults, and then also how they're raising the next generation of kids. So it's hard to find a, an indicator of success that's not tied to trauma. We are dissatisfied with the status quo. We look at the outcomes and we're just like, that's not good enough. The system is very complicated and frankly it's failing the kids and families in our community and Child Haven is taking a leadership role in saying we can do better and we're going to be the flag bearers for how we can break down the silos to kind of remove the hurdles and address the root causes that are preventing kids and families from reaching their full potential. I was homeless for quite some time so my biggest hope where the kids have always just been that they get to have education and all the good things, you know, and not just the struggles. Every parent loves their child deeply and wants to support them to the best of their ability. And often what's getting in the way is what parents didn't have growing up. We can do lots of great stuff for kids, but if we don't help parents, we're not gonna get where we wanna go. That connection I think is really important when it comes to the healing process of what Child Haven represents as a whole. When I come here, I'm greeted by everybody. It's just a, like a family-oriented place. And then as soon as I go to my one of my child's classrooms, all the teachers know me already. This is like my family. I've always just felt welcomed here. When I didn't know how to parent, there were staff members who would just stop what they were doing and listen to me. Hear my panic and my discouragement, getting to a point where I just have no hope, and they have come around and listened. I'm inspired by the work we do. I'm inspired by our staff who do the work, and I'm inspired by the families who come to Child Haven. They face big odds, and they overcome them day in and day out. Now we're looking at what can we do to tie it all together, and that's where the relational health part comes in. Investing in the early relational health and the continuum of care that we have is what will make the biggest long-term impact in these kids' lives. We're not necessarily adding new things to do, we're just changing how we do them to increase impact. So I think the capacity to move the needle is massive. Just seeing how much they've grown. Remembering, oh, they used to be such a tiny little kid who was very shy, didn't talk, and now this kid is socializing with his peers, saying all these sentences, singing all the time, running, jumping around and dancing. And to see that I've made an impact, that is really rewarding. Seeing a child who is connected to a safe, supportive adult and who has what they need. You don't need a lot of those moments to keep going in really challenging work because you know that that child then grows up to do the same thing with their children. It's life-changing. The work that we do here reverberates not only in their immediate family, but even in their extended family as well. It is a great opportunity to start over. It's a sense of community for families, parents, and children. People really find a sense of self and a sense of hope. The children have incredible changes and in growth. It's impressive. Child Haven is awesome. <laughs>